Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I'm really hoping I can tease you into pushing that button. This past fall, I completed my 38th year coaching football, and I was a defensive coordinator, but over that time, I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation today, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about one of our named combos or paired combos that we call Wham Stick. Okay? I'm going to show it to you versus 11 and 10 personnel, but it's good versus everything, as you'll see. And over here are the key terms to help explain Wham Stick and what a named paired combo is and then how to execute it and then on this part of it i'm going to diagram it for you versus 11 first then 10 on the bottom all right so the first key term is named or paired combo in this particular case it's what we call a wham stick and the wham is whip and mike w h a right and m mike we present it that way to the players and it makes perfect sense if you look all of our positions have different letters, and in the case of where there's two letters, both with an F, the second letter is different. So it makes it real easy for naming and then naming your players and then also naming your blitz and coming up with packages that create an entirely new blitz pattern. Yet, it's out of the same concept system, so it's really kind of neat. I think you'll agree once you get through this presentation. So then number two, what is a wham stick? Well, because the whip is first and wham, the lucky Ringo goes to the whip. And then what that means is the whip is executing the go. So I'll go over the rules and the technique with you. The mic, in this case, it does a delay plug of B gap and the defensive line executes the stick on the side of the call. Okay. And so the coverage is what we call trio. It's a zone blitz coverage, not subscribers. And what a name or a paired combo is, is a combo is we combine a go and a plug. That stays the same. Not subscribers, but in a named or paired combo, such as wham stick, it's from the same side. Hence the new blitz pattern for the offense to have to deal with. Okay, so not subscribers, there's a lot of reasons to push the button here. As I mentioned before, number five, it's good versus all personnel. Certainly 10 and 11, but also 12, 20, 21, 22, it's good versus all of them. As well as number six, it's good versus run, good versus pass, good versus zone read, good versus power read, good versus RPO. So now let's bring this all to life, okay? Up top, as I said, 11 personnel, 11 formation, gun Dallas, pistol, two by two, non-subscribers. Middle of the field and on the bottom, 10, gun Detroit, again, two by two, non-subscribers, pistol in the middle of the field, okay? So part of what enables us to do this is not just the way we uh, – name all excuse me all our positions but also our alignment rules mike and whip mike whip they travel together so that makes it simple we we'll both name it and create a new blitz pattern out of the same combo concept but now from the same side told you this would all come together okay so I'm not really going to go over um, the coverage. I will go over the safety spin, okay, just to show you how we communicate it so that they go, they spin to the side of the blitz without tipping it off completely. So over here, up top, whip and micro on the left, so the whip says lucky, which kicks in the Louie communication, so the two safeties are spinning together, okay? What's meant by the creep, and by the way, it's still sky support. The creep is based upon what we call a quarterback indicator. And in the gun, there's many. For this presentation, we're going to say the quarterback pumps his fist. That's the quarterback indicator. Snap indicator. 
So when the quarterback does that, that's when the whip initiates his creep. And the creep is how he screws down to the line of scrimmage. So our safeties, both of them, have their inside foot up. When the quarterback does this, you move up foot or inside foot first. So you're always working out of your stance, and then you can dig off that front toe and cross over on the go. Okay? That's part of the technique. Dig on the toe, cross over, and go. Dig on the toe, cross over, and go. Okay, no false steps. Everything we try to teach in rhyme. So dig off the toe, cross over, and go. All right? So the quarterback, boom, snap indicator. Initiate the creep. We tell him as a landmark, you want to be at the heels of your outside linebacker at minimum in between the heels of your outside linebacker and your inside linebacker. You can see the football. You'll never be offside. You won't get caught in a freeze count, okay? And you're in a position when there's a tight end to go off the butt of the tight end, okay? Because you got sky here. You got force. So if the play's coming to you, you got immediate force, okay? That's the creep. That's the sky. So now, before I get to the mic, notice the end has first, the mic has second. So I'm going to skip to the D line. What's meant by a stick, D end on the side of the call. So lucky it's always the end, not subscribers. He executes a stick, which means a double gap reduction. He's in the A gap, which bumps the nose A away. So what the mic does is he just takes his read step, watches the and cross his face, and then that's the delay plug. Okay, so he literally takes his downhill step, which he always does. As that's happening, the defensive end's going to cross his face, so it's a lot of action. Okay, so to, to signify that in like the playbook, we have him taking a little, but he's not taking a lateral step. He's doing his normal footwork. Okay, he too has inside foot up. He takes the read step with his outside foot, and at that point, the the, no, the defensive end's already crossed his face. Okay? And then to finish it, the opposite safety, rotate in middle, reading surface. If it's pass, he's rotating middle. If it's run, he's sticking in the ground and fitting in. Okay? That is wham, whip on the go. Mic on a delay plug stick up front. Down here, now it's a Ringo. Okay. Same snap indicator. Initiates the creep. Same landmarks, but now, okay, different. It just brings in the rules, right? Two's removed, so it's orbit. Now he's got his uh, first level landmark as a butt of the tackle. Now he becomes a spill and bend defender. Okay, so run two. It's a spill. Run away. Bend and chase it, baby. Bend and get it, right? Go get it. Still first and second. Stick A gap, A away. Delay plug. Again, remember, he's not laterally stepping, but that just signifies you take your reach step, and as he crosses your face, delay plug B. Now it's Ringo means Roger. On the snap, start to rotate, reading surface. It's pass, right? Deep third. It's run, stick it in the ground and fit in, and there is wham stick, a name paired combo. Boom. Done. So as I said at the beginning, my subscribers said thank you, not subscribers. I really hope I teased you into pushing that button. To everybody, I hope you reach out to me, Coach MJ Sullivan at gmail.com, because I would love to talk football with you. I'd like to thank you for watching MGS Coaching Football, and I'd like to thank YouTube for providing this platform.